App State 32 and Troy 28. Now this, another one, that is everything that you like about college football, right? At least it is to me. The the late game antics, the back and forth, the rivalry game that you didn't even really think was a rivalry game because App State has dominated this series lately. But John Sumrall comes into Troy, does his thing. Uh, Troy, now here, let me let me walk you through the sequence of events here. Uh, Troy was up of uh, 28 to 24 and they were close to their own end zone because of course they had gotten a stop with like a minute 15 left or minute 20 left or whatever App State of course still had timeouts etc so they were able to get the stop and App State rather than punt the football out of their own end zone elects with like 20 seconds left to intentionally take a safety now you know that you're going to give the other team Really good field position. And if you're only up by four and you give up a safety, it's 28 to 26. So if the other team even gets into field goal range, they can still beat you. So why on earth, like you must feel really awful about your punt protection unit, right? Like that's the only explanation that I can see because it it literally made no sense to do an intentional safety with that much time left on the clock. I mean, that is just insane to me. So, regardless, uh, Chase Bryce, three straight incompletions. There's two minutes left. And from his own 47-yard line, I believe, uh, he can't even get the ball to the end zone on a Hail Mary play. Like, it got batted at the five-yard line. And yet, because it was batted at the five-yard line, that allowed more space for, uh, let me get the guy's name right, Christian Horn, to pull it down and actually run it around the end, into the end zone. It was the craziest ending I have ever seen in my life. And for for those of us that had either a Troy over or a Troy plus 450 to win the MAC West, it's painful. Painful to watch because that would have been a good one to have in your back pocket. But, uh, good gracious. Uh, Boone, by the way, college game day. Awesome, awesome experience out there. That looked like a fun crowd. I mean, they were they were going bonkers. It was so much fun out there. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, yeah, I, what what would we think of App State if they had actually won the game against North Carolina? That's what I'm curious about. What would we have thought about them? I I mean, they'd be three and zero. They'd obviously be ranked. I mean, they, they got a win over a top-10 team. That give, if they had a win over um, over a pretty good North Carolina team. Uh, and then, of course, you got a win over Troy. Like, this is a pretty brutal opening stretch for them. Like, I think the schedule actually will get a little bit easier as it goes through. Which, by the way, App State won everything, basically, uh, other than they had a turnover and Troy did not. Like, they had a better third-down percentage. They had more total yards by almost 100 yards. They had more than a full yard per play. Uh, they had more points per scoring opportunities. They, you know, all these different things. Um, just insane. Just absolutely insane. Field position, better field position for them. And this was uh, this was nuts. By the way, Chase Bryce in this game, um, 22 out of 34, 278 yards, and two touchdowns. And, of course, Peoples uh, went for 84 yards here like this. This team just finding ways to get it done, even after losing a bunch of dudes from last year. Like their their returning production was not great. So this team's a lot of fun. They are really really good. And I was, uh, I mean that I don't know how you couldn't get excited about that game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary W C E. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.